Welcome back, everybody, to some more Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. We now have purchased a 7mm mag bolt-action rifle with a 2 times scope. Maybe we'll swap to a 4 times scope instead so we can get some better, better aiming. We've got our mag soft points because I do believe the other ones were polymer tips, which are 15 grand. We can't afford that right now, so we're going with the 7mm mag soft points. And it looks like we're going to run with some uh, scent masking here. Because we are going to go hunt a black bear with this brand new rifle. I don't know how powerful this rifle is. Okay, so let's take a look at our map here. Looks like we might have possible bedding location ahead of us and behind us <clears throat> which is good so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna travel to the left side of this bedding area okay that kind of scared the heck out of me there's a freaking pack of elk like right near me as soon as I spawn in that works all right so let's Check out this location here. Oh, look at that. We got one sleeping right there. That's perfect. He's all nestled down. No, he's actually not sleeping. He's actually grazing right there. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and tag that animal. That way we can keep an eye on him. Because what I would like to do is I'd like to stay downwind. That way he doesn't catch our uh, our scent. Alright, we're getting pretty close to him now. So we're going to start crouch walking here. There he is right there. Nope, that's a rock. Thought that was him. There he is, actually, right there. I'm just going to stay here for a second. It looks like he might have hurt us. All right, we're going to move in a little closer. I think I'm going to get behind this tree. I'm going to sn sneak up to this next tree. And then my goal is to get to this second tree right in front of me here. That should give us a nice, close, clean shot at this guy. Right about here should give us a very, very close shot at this guy. He's standing up. That is kind of scary. Oh my god. That was close, but still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure a clip. Oh god. I was hoping I can hit him in the spine and kill him instantly. Oh my god. That's a shame. Sloppy shooting. And painful too. Next time, wait till your target stops and make sure your target. We're going to hit him right in his butt cheek to try and slow him down a little more. Oh! That was close, but still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure a clean shot. He's going to run for a minute. That was very, very, very poor shooting on my behalf. I was hoping when he stood up, though, that I can shoot him right in the throat and hit him in the spine and just instantly drop him because spine shots and heart shots are an instant drop. That's really unfortunate. I'm going to lose uh, a good check of points for that one.
Alright, so we cut through these bushes here. What the heck was that? There was a bear off in the distance over there. Oh god, there he is right there. There was a I think there's a bear tracking me. Oh man. Oh, there we go. So this guy tore off way far away. 15 to 30 minutes and he's heading west. He hasn't even fallen yet either. Keep an eye on the wind. You don't want to be caught up wind of your prey. There's a moose over there. We are making a lot of noise here. I don't think that bear is going to go down. Oh, there he is. He didn't go down. He took three shots and he's over here somewhere. That green, oh god. That kind of scared me, I thought something was coming. There's freaking animals walking through right there. Oh my god. These things are walking like right up on me. They don't even know I'm here. Let's go catch up to our bear. If that was a male moose, I might have taken the shot. There's our boy. Let's shoot him right in the chest. See if we can take him down this time. Oh! Heart shot. Clean kill. Straight through the heart. This one will drop before figuring out what hit it. Very nice. Yeah, there was a bunch of moose that walked up on me. That was a clean kill. Nice. Very, very nice. 5,100 gear credits earned. Very nice. Alright, so now we should... It's wanting us to hunt four white-tailed deer uh, with a rifle from less than 60 yards. That one's going to be pretty rough. That one's going to be very, very rough. We are needing some moose points, though, guys, in order to to be able to uh, do some of these here. Looks like we're going to be coming up on a compound bow hunt as well before too long. Yeah, we are needing caribou points, and we're needing moose points here. So maybe we'll do a free roam and try and kill some moose, shall we? We need a couple of moose points. I wouldn't mind buying that compound bow. Alright, so we're going to do a free roam here and look for some moose. Uh, looks like they could be bedding this time of day. So I'm thinking we're going to head down this way here.
Because if we can take down a moose, we can probably do another hunt and then save up for a compound bow. I don't know how much they are, though. There are some. We should get our shotgun and go bird hunting, too. Get some bird shot and blast these pheasants. I don't think I can get over these rocks, though. Oh, maybe I can. All right, we're picking up, uh, picking up some noise over here. The wind is in our favor. That's good. That's good. And I can't seem to squeeze between the tree. Oops, the tree and the rock there. We're going to creep over to this stand over here. Looks like the moose could be over here right now. There's two big ones right there. As long as we stay behind this cover, I think we'll be okay. And there's a perfectly strategically placed blind right here for us. I can't get a clear... A clear view here. There's the female. I don't think we're going to get to use that blind. We're just going to flank around here. Another female. I don't like the way this one's looking at me. Give me a nice broadside. Alright, so he might... Oh, where is he? There's that female that's up on my right. There's a female to my left. And then the big boy right here. Alright, let's just be patient. Let's just wait it out here a second. Because right now we've got two females on both sides of us right now. If one of them catches wind of me, she's going to... Watch the wind. You don't want to get caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. Which I am upwind, actually. Gosh dang it. She's almost circling around behind me right now. I'm going to stay along these bushes here, and hopefully I can get a nice clean shot on this guy. I just wasn't happy with... Oh, there we go.
Come on, right to the spine. Nothing. Uh, that was close, but still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure. Oh my god, he's shot. charging. He's charging. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get mauled. Chest bone. Double chest bone. That's a shame. Sloppy shooting and painful too. Next time, wait till your target stops and make oh sure my god. your target. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. My life is gonna flash before my eyes. That was close, but still off the mark. You need oh god. to practice your oh god. Ah! <laughs> I just got mauled. <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah so uh yeah those things are very aggressive i think we should buy a moose call <laughs> that way we could have called him and made that hunt a little bit easier so <laughs> all right guys well i'm gonna wrap this episode up here we were mauled by a moose i guess we'll have to let our wounds heal and then when we come back We'll try it again. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.